Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tabia, and today's video is going to be a what's in my bag. I have the Longchamp Le Pliage Large. It's a very, very popular bag. It's a very like old style bag that's been around for ages, but it's so timeless. It's always appropriate. It fits so much stuff, so I just love it. So I'm going to show you guys the bag real quick. This is the Le Pliage bag, if you didn't know what it looks like, this one it looks like. And I think this is the tote shopper bag, and it has the longer drop handles versus the medium has like a shorter handle, so I really like this one. I was back and forth on getting the Neo, which is an all black, but you know what, this is like classic, easily recognizable that it is a long chomp, and it's just a classic piece, and I thought it was really nice, and... Honestly, I've been using it every day since I got it, and I'm so glad that I did get it. And now I'm going to show you guys what's actually in this bag, and I do use this bag for a work bag. The reason why I got it was because I know that I'm going to be going on the plane soon, and I just wanted something bigger. I really always, like, wanted a Neverfull, but I don't like how it doesn't close, and spending that much money on a Neverfull that doesn't close, where I'm going to be picky about it and maybe not use it forever, I'm just not into it so I am probably never gonna buy a never full well I'll never say never never full but I just at this point can't see myself really being super happy with it so I also think that I would be a much better user of a small like crossbody bag so maybe one day if I ever have it in my budget I'll get a designer bag but this one doesn't come that cheap either I think this one was 190 Canadian I think it's 150 or 160 US I could be wrong but yeah so it's basically black it has the like leather folds right here and leather handles so it's nice and durable and then it has the closure which is has the long chomp sign on it and let's get into what's in this bag. So first thing that I see is this little thing. Um, it says, remember this document. And I just have all my pens and whiteout and markers in here because I started using my everyday planner a lot more, which I'm going to show you guys. I absolutely love this piece. Usually in the summertime, I always have a coupon code for you guys. I should reach out to them and see if they would be so nice to issue a new coupon code because I really use this thing all the time, every day, basically. I really like this size. I'm going to say it's the A5 size. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I love that you can customize your, um, your back cover and your front cover. So I always just go on Pinterest, design my covers. Uh, they tell you like what size to use. Um, for the covers and stuff so you can kind of like really nicely um, customize it and then I go on to Canva and put everything together so yeah I like it to be really easy to use so it has like a month like overview and then I like that it has a lot of space for each day so it looks mm, hard to see like this but there's three days on one page and I love it I use it almost every day basically then I just have a little makeup bag here and I'm going to show you guys what's in this thing. So I have my earbuds. They're not Apple AirPods, but I don't need the AirPods because these literally do almost the same thing and I think they're from Best Buy as well. Then I got this Vaseline Lip Therapy for rosy lips. I have my Michael Kors wallet. I'm not sure that I love it, but... It was on sale and I was like, it's cute, like it's rose and gold and I really like it. It says Michael Kors on it and it's different. I always get like the the big wallets that you like fold and or that you like have like a big zipper and like they fold open like an accordion. So I thought trying something different would be cool. Then I have, let me zoom. I have a charger for these headphones. I <laughs> I have this keychain thing which is actually pepper spray so... If you guys didn't know, I work at 4.30 in the morning, so leaving the apartment one time I ran into people. And I think I've had this since before, or maybe I got it since then. My husband ordered it from Amazon for me, and I keep it in my bag. I should probably hold it in my hand every time I walk out in the morning, but... I have one of these, like, hair ties, and then I have a hair clip. I don't really know when I ever use that, but I have the adapter thing for the charger. This is all in the makeup bag. I have an envelope with receipts and cash. Some more envelopes. We're doing some home renovations for our house. Um, 
I started eating, making better choices in eating. So I was at the store and sometimes I'm so, so hungry running around that I'll just grab a chocolate bar on my way out that I can just like keep with me right away and open it and just frantically eat it. But I walked past the aisle and I was like, wow, they have like nuts and stuff. And I was like, mm, I might as well try them. And they were just barbecue peanuts. So that's an alternative if you're a chocolate bar lover like myself. Then I have this little card holder right here. Then I have, I got a puppy and yes, I do have another dog as well, Bailey. So I have Blue and Bailey and I have uh, dog bags. So we bought this box of like a hundred like rolls and they're almost gone because that's like a year in an apartment. Um, girly things. Um, gum and garbage. Um, a quarter. The pill that I should take today. And some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. And then in the little pouch, some more receipts with a coupon code for dog food that I want to keep and a lash wand because you need lash wands, honestly. And this is really gross, I'm a lash artist, and I just keep it like this, so that's gonna stop very soon. I am so excited, I'm gonna be putting together like an aftercare kit, and it's gonna have covered lash wands, and they're gonna look so cute, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be offering them to all my lash clients, and I guess if you guys want some of those, then you guys can hit me up on Instagram for those, so stay tuned. I'll let you guys know once I make them, because I'm gonna be making some more lash videos for you very soon i'm excited i really like doing lash videos and lately i just really like making random content like whatever i kind of feel like and i know i haven't uploaded that much but that's what's in that makeup bag then also i have a hand md rehydration cream i work with them quite often on my instagram and so they'll send out um some products for me so they have like the hand cream um it keeps your hands like nice and hydrated and it's so important for me i was like last winter i was getting a bunch of cuts on my hands because i wasn't hydrated enough so go figure i needed to use those then i have keys speaking of self-defense i have this thing here you may have already seen this before but it has a knife <laughs> again my husband bought this for me because i wake up so early and it's still dark out so i have my fob my car keys and a little thing for the grocery cart i love that that I have it there, so I'm never out for a dollar. I have a sock in here. <laughs> I think it like randomly like fell out of my laundry bag. And I have some papers. I think this is a receipt for my husband's business, a gas receipt. I have to keep all those things for business. And then I have a knockoff Kinder Egg. I didn't know it was knockoff, and it had like Paw Patrol on it, and the kids wanted it. So I was like, yeah. But I'm never buying a knockoff Kinder Egg again because it's not the same thing. I have a nickel and a hairband from Naya. So that's literally all that's in this bag. This bag is so spacious. I, I see a lot of people that actually have an organizer and I don't think I'm gonna get an organizer. I just think that things just fall into the bottom of it and they just are, it's just perfect the way that it is for me. That's why I decided to keep a bigger makeup bag in it and just have it kind of like a divider. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I would suggest that for you too. I have this that keeps all my pens so I'm not digging for pens. And then my planner keeps... Like it's just the things that I do have in here, they stay pretty organized because of what they are. And I don't have too much little stuff. All the little stuff basically just goes into this makeup bag and holds it pretty well. And I just kind of leave it sitting open like if that makes sense so I can see what's in it and grab it easily and that's kind of the divider that I have that I'm using I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna leave the link for the long chop down below sometimes it looks like they're out and sometimes they like are right back the next day I don't really understand how their website works sometimes but you can buy it definitely from there and if you're in the states you can buy it at Nordstrom but in Canada, I wasn't able to get it off of Nordstrom. So this is the bag. I really like it. I'm so happy with it. I know people have had this bag for decades and I've only heard good things about it. They love it for travel. I was thinking of getting, going to the gym. So I want to use it for the gym as a gym bag. Like it's just easy to hold stuff. This season's changing. I'm going to need like an extra sweater for my kids or their hats and mitts. Like just like taking them off and just dropping them in there. Like it's just going to be so convenient for school drop-off and pick-up and for 
um, going to the gym. It's just a universal bag. Uh, it's a great airplane bag. I don't have to worry about it like putting it underneath the seat in front of me. It'll fit and um, yeah, I just think it's a good bag. It's even probably going to work for like an overnight if it was like just like a one night thing. Um, I would probably just pack that and that would be it. So I think the way that I am going to use it is like that and then I would have like a little clutch or something in it to take with me if I was going like elsewhere and I would just keep that clutch in there and like have like something like with a wristband or or just like grab my wallet and go. I think I might I think I really want to get the Louis Vuitton key pouch because it'll hold some cards and usually I really just have my phone and my keys in my hand so it would be handy to just put cards attached to my key and that one's a bit nicer and it's affordable it's an affordable designer piece of small leather good that's really overpriced but anyways I'll leave you guys with that I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can let me know what purse you guys love to travel with um, leave that down below for me and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye